The Midsummer Norton Deanery is made up of 19 churches in eight benefices, serving a population of 54,000 people. This short film is a collaborative project that reflects the unity of our deanery and celebrates its diverse activities as we seek to be God's people, living and telling the story of Jesus. At St. Peter's Camerton, we hold an annual charity concert featuring members of our community. In Dunkerton, we take church out to the community with our cafe and craft on the first Sunday of the month in our parish hall. At Timsbury, we put on an annual scarecrow trail with refreshments at St Mary's Church. In Priston, we are very much at the heart of its music festival with events taking place at the parish church. At 11 a.m. on the 11th of each month, we have our contemplative prayer held in the church. Each session has a theme, a relaxation exercise, half an hour of silent contemplation, and finishing with a final prayer, sharing the grace. The highlight of our year at St Vigor's Church in Stratton on the Foss is Christmas Eve, when people come from all around to celebrate the coming of Jesus. At Holy Trinity Colford, we come out of the church and into the community with our village day service and a stall in the marquee. Holcombe is unique in that it has two churches, the parish church of St Andrew and Holcombe Old Church. Our Rainbow Ramble raised funds for the Children's Hospice Southwest. We raised nearly two and a half thousand pounds. Our annual carol service at Holcombe Old Church welcomes all the community to this lovely candlelit service. St John's in Midsummer Norton has been here for a very long time. The font is Norman, the tower is medieval, and the main body of the church is early 19th century. In recent years, it has been lovingly restored and we meet with God in this beautiful and uplifting place. We stand in the high church tradition, so we put emphasis on solemn ceremony, gorgeous music, and the Eucharist. St John's is also a real community, and we enjoy a social event every month. At Holy Trinity in Poulton, we reach out to the community through our Thank God It's Friday parent and toddler group. The members of St John the Baptist seek to be at the heart of the community, after two years of carol singing in the pub, we now have the Farrington Gurney Big Harvest Sing. The pub is full and a collection is taken for the local food bank. Once a month, the church in High Littleton offers free tea and homemade cakes for parents and carers collecting their children from school. At St John's, we love helping reveal God's hidden treasure in all of us. You're never too old to play in a worship band. I was surprised that Matthew thought I had what it takes to be a good preacher. I never thought I'd be running this amazing ministry here in Peasdown for families. Every Tuesday afternoon during term time, the school assembly is held in St Julian's Church. Uniquely in Shoscombe, our church building is at the heart of our local school. At Foxcote, we have made our small Georgian church more accessible to the wider community. We have Café Church on the first Sunday of every month when all ages come together. A varied breakfast menu is available while we sing, have fellowship and explore a biblical topic. Once a month, the church in Kilmerston opens its doors to welcome people for coffee and homemade cakes. The village school has close links with the church, which is used for all the school's special services. For over 100 years, Westfield has had a place to worship, yet the current church is only 30 years old. St Peter's is a modern church moving into new times with its FC service on the first Sunday of the month, yet committed to its traditional roots with regular communion. We continue to find new ways to reach out to our community, such as carol singing on our new estate.